Okay, so here we go. This is the Bascoyo Decor Chroma King 99. Um, this is what it looks like when it comes in. So it's about three feet tall. Yeah, there, it looks like this. There's the back. Um, I was kind of hoping that it would be numbered here on the back. I think some of their items actually are, but um, this one is not. And this, that's what this video is gonna be about. But uh, here we go. We got some uh, holes here for zip ties for your mounting. We got a strain relief uh, hole right here for a zip tie for your cable at the bottom. And uh, actually looks really nice. Um, I ordered this one because I like the red in it and it, that way it looks nice during the day as well uh, as at night. So. Okay, so when you order the Bascoyo uh, candy canes, this is how it's gonna show up at your house. So you just cut open the tape here and then they're inside the box, uh, nice and safe. And um, this is, is what you can expect when you order them. All right, so in this video, um, I wanted to go over a few different ways that you can wire these things up. Uh, I don't think there's a, a single correct way to do it and we'll go over the three most common ways that i've seen in this video all right so the first way i'm going to show you is the way that they have it in x light so if you uh pull this uh chroma k99 up in x lights this, you can see a wiring diagram and i'll show you that in a second but this is how they have it wired up uh one two three four five six and you zigzag the first two columns all the way around and then you'll get to here and you'll make a straight a beeline all the way down to the bottom and then out and then that is so you can daisy chain or if you don't know what daisy chain means you can connect the candy canes together so you have your input and output both on the bottom so if you're going to be connecting all of your candy canes together on one output on your controller then uh that's how you're gonna wire it up and you'll have to use X lights uh, for the sequencing. Okay, so here we are in X lights. Um, we're on the layout tab up here, top left. So if we go over uh, to where this down arrow is, it says create new download. We're gonna click there and then click inside the black. And it pops up a box that um, all your downloads are in. Click on Candy Cane, and here is our Candy Cane right here, the Chroma Cane 99, so let's click on that. Uh, there's a picture of it so we can confirm. Uh, click here at the bottom, Insert Model, and there it is right there. Let's drag it, make it bigger so you can see. So let's go up here in the top corner, right click, and then it says Wiring View right there. And this is how Bascoyo recommends wiring for X lights shows. So it starts there at the bottom and it kind of zigzags up the first two rows all the way to the top. And then once you get to the top, it loops around and then comes back down to the last row straight down. And what this does is it allows you to have your input and your output at the bottom. And you know, if you're gonna be connecting a bunch of candy canes together, that's what you want. Uh, the other two ways of um, wiring them up, your output's gonna be up here at the top. So it's uh, a little bit more difficult to wire uh, multiple candy canes together that way. Okay, so the first way that I told you, we're gonna call that one X lights because that's how X lights um, uh, shows you to wire it. The second one, we're gonna call it a vertical matrix. Um, this when you start, here at the bottom, you go straight up all the way to the end of the candy cane, go over one and then come back down the middle and then over one and then back up. So basically we have three rows of 33 lights and they're going in the vertical way. So we'll call that one the vertical matrix. And I'm sure like if you were to straighten out the candy canes, that you have three straight lines of 33. And I'm sure there's a way that you can create that in X lights. I just, I'm not real familiar with X lights yet. So uh, I don't want to make that guarantee, but I'm pretty sure that there is. Um, so that's the second way 
Uh, the third way is the way that I'm gonna do it for, for mine. And this is also kind of a matrix, but we're gonna call it the zigzag. So you start here at the bottom corner, you go across and then up, across and then up, across and then up, and then all the way to the end. Um, the only downside to doing it this way is you have your input at the bottom and your output at the top. But for me, that's no problem because each one of my candy canes is going on its own controller. Uh, excuse me, not controller, but its own channel of the controller. So I'm going to be using a dick quad, which has four channels. And then I have four candy canes. So each candy cane has its own channel. So to me, that's no issue. Uh, if you're going to daisy chain or connect the, the candy canes uh, together, then that might be an issue. But for me, it's not. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I'm using these uh, WS2811 uh, bullet pixels. They're 12 volt and this is a hundred count strand. So there's gonna be one left over since the uh, Coro candy canes uh, only hold 99. So they're individually addressable uh, RGB uh, LEDs. A little bit. So basically you just take your pixel and you just jam it through there. And then uh, you'll hear it clip. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. And then it'll come through the other side and there we go. That's what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna go ahead and do that all the way. So our next one's gonna go here. And I'm just gonna do this real quick just to show you the pattern. And then here, and then your fourth one here, right? Fifth one in the middle, sixth one here, seventh, so on and so forth, all the way to the end. Okay, here we got it all wired up in the zigzag pattern. Uh, so it's across, up, across, up, across, up, and so on and so forth, all the way to the end. Here's our last pixel here. We have one left over, and I just kind of threaded it through there. I have a cap on uh, the end of my wire because we're not going to be connecting anything to it. And here's what it looks like on the other side. Nice and neat. Uh, everything looks really good. Okay, so here we have our vertical matrix input here. Goes straight up around, over, back down, reaches the bottom, goes back up, all the way. Last pixel, technically this is the last, last pixel, but we'll have that one turned off. Uh, and then we just kind of weaved our output with the cap on uh, up there, since we won't be using it. So if Again, if you're daisy chaining these together, this is probably not what you want. Um, so, cause you want, you're gonna want the input and output at the bottom, which would be so much easier. I mean, you could still plug something in, run the cable down and out, but you know, it's more convenient if it's at the bottom. So uh, let's flip it over. It looks the same on this side as the others. Uh, so let's go to the other one. Okay, so this is the way that X lights uh, suggest you wire it if you're sequencing in X lights. So we have our uh, data and power in here and it goes uh, zigzags first two columns up, over, up, over, up, over, all the way to the end of the candy cane. And then we got three straight in a row and loops it straight down here, all the way to the bottom. And then we have our leftover pixel and then um, our end cap, or if you want a daisy chain, you can go ahead and connect it there. The only issue with daisy chaining it is you would have to cut off this last pixel um, or else your, your sequence would be uh, a pixel off. Each candy cane would be a pixel more off. So 
Uh, pretty easy to do, it's just three wires and you just splice them, splice this back onto right here. And you got a power ground and the data is in the center. And uh, after that, no more issues. So um, this is the way that, like I said, x Lights suggested this way. We, they know that that works. Uh, and if, if you're using x Lights, but if you're not using x Lights, let's see what it looks like. All right, so I got everything uh, connected here. Uh, my 12 volt power supply, I got my dig quad there. Um, if you watched my last video, I spent like $65 on a box for uh, the electronics for my house. This one is a 50 cal ammo can. It costs 10 bucks at Harbor Freight and that's what I'll be using for this one. So, uh, uh, candy canes will go from left to right is so starting from the left zigzag pattern we got our vertical matrix in the middle and then our x lights pattern on the right hand side so i'm going to turn i'm going to flip them over turn them on and i'm going to do them individually at first and then all together we're going to do three patterns uh, and compare them all okay so let's get started Okay, first up, we have the zigzag pattern, and this is the Chase. This is WLED software, and we're using the Chase feature uh, on the zigzag pattern. Uh, I had to turn the power mostly down so my camera could handle the light. Um, but as you can see, the Chase looks really nice on the zigzag pattern. Okay, this is the second candy cane, same pattern. This is the Chase pattern. Uh, so this is the vertical matrix uh, chase pattern on WLED. Okay, third candy cane. This is the X lights pattern, um, or X lights wiring pattern. Uh, it's the chase feature WLED. So so far, you know, if, you, if you're not using X lights, it looks like the zigzag pattern so far is the best. So let's see them all together. Okay, so here you can see them all together. Uh, left is zigzag pattern, middle is the vertical matrix, and then right is the way X lights uh, suggest you to wire them up. Definitely prefer the zigzag pattern uh, without X lights, that is. Okay, second up is the sweep feature on the zigzag uh, pattern. Again, looks very nice. Let's watch it one more time. This is the sweep pattern on WLED. I have it slowed down so you can see it nice and uh, every single pixel. Okay, next. Okay, vertical matrix sweep pattern on WLED. Okay, and finally, this is a sweet pattern on the way that you wired up for X lights, uh, but we're running WLED instead. Okay, so here they are all together running the sweet pattern on WLED. Okay, last pattern, what would this test be without our traditional candy cane pattern? So we're starting off here with the zigzag, uh, looks perfect. Okay, we got the candy cane pattern on the vertical matrix. The pixels are a bit off uh, as expected. And here we go with the X lights wiring pattern. And again, the pixels are off on this one as well. 
And finally here they are all together. Uh, we can kind of see where this is going right. Uh, if you're not using X lights, it looks like the zigzag pattern is definitely the way to go. So uh, for all you beginners out there, myself included, I'm gonna be doing all my candy canes to start off with a uh, zigzag pattern um, until I work my way up to doing everything in X-Lights. Okay, so this is definitely the pattern that you want if you're not using X-Lights. Uh, and actually, if you go on Bascoyo's website, you can see uh, a picture of a candy cane wired like this. So this is definitely um, one of the options. And to me, if you're not using X-Lights, is the best option. Uh, but if you are using X-Lights, then you would want to go with the, the way that they have it wired in the program uh, is the zigzag pattern all the way up and then one straight line all the way down. And then you have your line out there.